Alright. Today I'll show you how to cover a repetitive thing in your slide by doing it just one time, through the help of PowerPoint Slide Master. First, let me show you my MS Office version to avoid any confusions on the PowerPoint features. As you can see, I only have Home and Student 2019 version. This is basically the lowest end of Microsoft Office packages, and this means that everything that I'll be showing you here will definitely be available to your PowerPoint as well, unless your PowerPoint version is really old. Now that's out of the way, let's begin. Okay. I have opened a new deck here, and adding few more slides here which I'll use to make a point in a sec. Okay. For most users, if for example we want to add a logo into all the slides, and we have four slides in the deck, they would usually add the logo in one slide. Then copy the logo, and paste it to all the other slides. But this is so inefficient, and inaccurate. What if in one slide you have misaligned the logo? You will not have a uniform deck anymore. Or worse, what if you have hundreds of slides? It will take a long time to copy and paste the logo to all of them. Luckily, there is an easier and more precise way to accomplish this. Let me delete all the logos in all the slides here, and then I'll show you how. Just go to the View Ribbons tab. Then click on Slide Master. This will open a group of slides which represents the layout of all the slides you can use in your deck. The parent slide here is called the Slide Master, and all the children's slides are called the Slide Layout. Just like in any hierarchy, when we update the parent slide, the Slide Master, if we add the logo here for example, this change to the Slide Master will be cascaded to all the children's slides, the Slide Layouts. You can see here, all the slide layouts now has the same logo, with the same exact size and same exact location, by just updating one single slide. We can then click the close master view, to go back to our actual slides. And there we go. By just updating the slide master, we are able to add the logo to all the slides in our deck. Even if you add a new slide in this deck, that new slide will also inherit the slide master format. No more wasting of time copying of the logo into all the slides, and no more inaccuracies of the format across all the slides in the deck. I've shown earlier that editing the slide master will also update all the slide layouts, and in effect, also applies the updates all the slides in your deck. But what if you only want to have a certain format in one layout? You can also do that by updating just one specific slide layout. As an example, let's update this master title style slide. Let me add a shape here, and then let's put the title on top of this shape, and make it a white font. By updating just this specific slide layout, it will not affect any other slide layouts nor the slide master. When we close the master view and go back to our deck, you'll see that nothing has changed. In order to use a specific layout, you will need to right-click anywhere in the slide, then go to Layout, and from the list, you can select the layout that you want to apply in the current slide. There we go. We are now using the slide layout that we created earlier. With this, you can format any specific layout in the master view, and use it to any of your slide. Edit just one slide in the master view, and easily use it repeatedly on your deck. A very efficient way to go about creating your presentations. On a more formal slide setup, we usually want to have a date, slide number and a label at the footer of the slide. We can easily set that up within our deck by going back to the slide master view. Then under the insert ribbon tab, click on the header and footer ribbon. This will open a dialog box where you can check the items that you want to add header and footer elements, like the date and time, which has additional option for fixed or automatic date value, the format, and regional format setting. We also have an option for slide number, which is basically the page number. Then the footer, which is the fixed text that you can put in the footer, like for confidentiality of the document, or copyright information for example. You also have option here to never show the header and footer information on title slides. Let's click apply here. Since I did the edit on the slide master, these changes were automatically applied to all the slide layouts as well. Just for fun, and to make it more unique, let's try to change the font color of the date and slide number footers. Let's now close the master view and see the effect in our slides. There we go. All our slides have the same uniformed footers now. We have the green font date, the footer text, and the red slide number. And on slide 3, which is a title slide, you'll see that there is no footer, since we ticked that option to not show the header and footer on a title slide. Going back to the slide master view, there are of course a lot more things you can do here. You can select a color theme for the whole layout. There's a lot of choices here. Selecting one color theme here will automatically set the default colors for the slide, and there's no need to manually make the colors of the shapes and fonts to your desired color, they will all automatically have the same color based on the selected color theme. From the slide master ribbon tab, you can also select the default font for the whole deck. Selecting one font here will automatically update all the layout slides with that selected font. No need to manually set the font of each text boxes. You also have an option here for the effects. Selecting one effect here will automatically make it the default slide transition effect for the whole presentation deck. Then we also have the background style option here. 
As with other options, the selected slide background color will be the default for all the slides. Aside from that, you can also set the default slide size here, which can be 4x3, or 16x9, or customize it. If you like more options for the layout, you can also add more slide master group here. Just right click anywhere in the left pane, then click on insert slide master. And there you go, you now have a new set of slide master with its slide layout children. Aside from adding a whole group of slide master, you can also add a new child slide layout under slide master. Just right click again, the click insert layout. There you go, you now have a new layout which you can format to whatever layout you need. When we go back to your slides and then check out the layout options, you will now have two group options here, as we've set up in the master view. And that's it for this video. Hopefully this makes your presentation deck creation a lot easier now. If you have any further related questions about PowerPoint Slide Master, do let me know in the comments below, and I'll try my best, as far as my PowerPoint knowledge can reach, to get back to you. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Lilisuge for watching. Nobody air.